Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to 25 to Life. So, last time we were introduced to our character whose name I forgot. He's trying to get out of a life of crime only for his wife and son to be, you know, kidnapped by I guess his former gang leader? We attempted to rob a bank only for that to go sideways. So let's go ahead into the cul-de-sac. I hear you've been inquiring in the evidence locker. Unfortunately, it appears that eight keys are missing. That's a lot of blow. Lester, who else did you talk to about this? Nobody. I was waiting to speak with you so we could figure out a strategy. Check this out. Meet Sean Calderon. I hear he's moving big white recently. Maybe there's a connection. Let me get started on the warrant, and you can find out where he is. Fuck that! There's no time. Let's get out of here. Damn it, Mendoza, you just got off suspension. Okay, so... Loose cannon cop. Stereotypical. Alrighty, so... After that cutscene, let's see what this new mission has to offer us. Maria Mendoza has led you into D-Boy's territory. Infiltrate Calderon's house and locate a large quantity of drugs that have been gone missing from the evidence locker at the precinct. As Detective Lester Williams, you must raid the house and obtain the target item, apprehending as many criminals as possible in the process. So I'm assuming... Wait, we can actually arrest people? One Charles 37. Try not to get the rookie killed. And keep in mind that not everyone in that area is a criminal. Not everyone in this area is a criminal, except for the guys that are all walking around guns. I've been training a long time for this. Wow, okay, just the second they see us, they open up. Did you... Well, I think I was just friendly fired. Officer, you want to go? You want to go deal with that? Come here, bitch. The only thing that I have a problem with, I mean, granted, this is a PS2 game, but the one thing I do have a problem with this game is that it seems like the protagonists play the same. Like, like a stereotypical gangbanger has just as good accuracy as a trained detective. A little ridiculous in my opinion. Also, this game has a lot of health drops, but I'm sure that's just in relation to my difficulty settings. Hello. Oh shit. Fuck. Fuck. Oh. I don't think that's condoned by the department. Oh god. Oh god. Why? Why is this happening? Wait. What? Oh. Uh, keep your rookie partner alive. Well, I mean, if they weren't throwing fucking molotovs at me, it'd be great. I'm just opening up, fuck it, oh. Yeah, see, that's when you don't say a detective. That's when you send the SWAT team. Alrighty, we're back to this part again. Um, my rookie partner died. Not like he was really much help to me anyway, I mean. He did end up friendly firing me, so he can eat an ass. Like I did yet? Okay, good. Finally, holy shit. This is like my third or fourth attempt on this one mission. Or this is one part of the mission, I should say. Oh, that's my partner's gun. Shit. Hold on. Why did I drop my, uh... 357? Uh... That's kind of bullshit. Is that an AK? Fuck, I'll take the AK. On, AK spray! On, AK spray! Save me! Fuck, 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 fuck! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Shit, shit, shit. Reload. Got it. Heal. Uh, where are the bad dudes? I would love to see where I'm shooting. Oh my god. This game is so fucking weird. Also, like I said in the last episode, the story goes 0 to 100 so fast, it's not even funny. Like, I, I feel like the game almost rushes itself in terms of the story. There's really very little development. Like, it jumps at such a pace. Like, I don't really care about the characters, per se. Like, oh great, we're introduced to our wife and son, who kind of just show up for like, maybe what, 5-10 minutes and they're gone. Like, great! I don't really care who you are. Like, all we see is that mom and dad are fighting and that dad wants to get out of the life of crime, which commendable, sure. 
But it's like, you know, maybe if you didn't do that in the first place, you wouldn't be in the situation that you're in. I thought that dumbass tried to rob a bank. Like, what did you expect to happen? Yeah, the police don't really just, uh, you know, slap your wrist. What was it? Slap on the wrist? That's it. Yeah, they don't just give you a slap on the wrist for robbing a bank. You put it nicely, you get fucked. That's what happened. Okay, I can't open that door. Okay, I can't open that. This is another thing, too. Not very clear as to... Is that a gun that I just saw? Okay, so... Hmm. Okay. Stay back, stay back. stay back, he says. Uh, sure, because apparently your door is, like, magically bulletproof, even though it's a typical wooden door. Ah. Uh, that is cool, though. I give the game that credit. That's a motion sensor light. I just noticed that. There's one over here, too. When you walk over, it triggers. I actually give the devs some credit for that. I'll give them respect for that. That's pretty cool. Okay, can't get up there. Hello, where the fuck am I supposed to go? Oh! I wasn't able to interact with that before. Mendoza, I found some shit. It still has the evidence tag on it. Cool. Meet me back in my car. I'm at the end of the block. Cool! Let me just grab those meds. We're gonna get the fuck out. I'm assuming we gotta go this way, yeah. Again, in terms of just operational integrity, why didn't we clear the house first and then look for evidence? Why are we only looking for evidence now? Oh, I'm sorry, why are we only- yeah, there you go. Damn, I never seen no shit. Yeah, we should have cleared the house and then went for evidence. That's what we should have done. Alrighty, and we're back here. Um, one thing I like that I want to point out that I know- not like, but like in the sense of like, I just find it stupid. Um, I like how our character- pulls over his partner is like, hey, I found some shit. Great. Now, I know you said that it had the evidence tag on it, but if you didn't add that part, what kind of shit? Oh. Great, the gang has reinforcements. Is that a fucking bazooka? Where the fuck did gangbangers get bazookas? Oh, hi, you're on the roof. Okay. Oh god, oh god, I'm just getting lit the fuck up right now. Where are these dudes at? Alright. But, yeah, in terms of just operational integrity, this is all bullshit. Like, it, it makes, like, little bit of sense. Can you guys, like, stop scurrying around? God damn. Alright, that's one. Where's the prick with the bazooka? Hold on. I'll get him eventually. Hold on. Can you, like... Right, God damn it. That helicopter for me? Can you guys help me, please? Help me, my sanity is depleting. I'm slowly, you know, I'm slowly going insane. Thank God, meds. Okay. There's a little prick. There he is. Alright, he's done. That lady is through the wall. And you. Oh, great! You got a friend! He's dead. I like how the game was apprehend criminals. I mean, hey, yeah, okay. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm apprehending someone, alright. Fuck. Why, why is there so many of you? This is such bullshit. I don't even think gangbangers would be this stupid. Oh god, oh god, oh god, I'm gonna die. Damn it! Alrighty, we've cleared out everyone except for the asshole with the bazooka. I don't know where he's at. There he is, I see him. Maybe we can take him out before he does anything stupid. Fuck! Oh, okay. I took an RPG to the face. Oh god, he's gonna do it again. He's doing it again. Got him. Dispatch. One Charles 37, 998. Multiple suspects down. Request ambulance code 3. Mendoza. Mendoza. Maybe we should call backup. I just took down that D-boy, J-Dub. I had to apply a little extra billy club, but I found out where Sean might be. Cool. I still say we should have, you know, called in for backup or maybe even called the SWAT. Alrighty. Mission 5, the club. Finding the drugs with the evidence tag on them has prompted you to investigate further by questioning Sean Calderon. In person. Mendoza's interrogation of a D-boy tipped you off that Calderon is at a local club. 
track him down and find out how he got his hands on those drugs. All right, let's figure it out. Let's see who's a dirty cop. I think audio broke in the game because I'm hearing shit that I shouldn't be hearing. I'm looking for Sean Gallery. I'm not fucking around. Where's the guy? Okay, whole neighborhood shooting at me. I kind of deserve that. He's gone. You bleed pretty bad, homie. Oh yeah? Well, I'm about to show you the definition of police brutality. Look at this. This is getting ugly. Where are you, bit? Oh, okay, there you are. Register eight headshots? Really? Yeah, I don't think police really should be going for headshots, even though I kind of did. But then again, I'm a dirty cop, so it, it, it is what it is. Where'd I go? I'm right here. Alright, fuck it. I was trying to get. Ow, Jesus. What did you say? I don't belong here? Oh, too late. Your dad's dead. Now you're dancing in a club in hell. And uh, your friends are gonna join you. Oh, it's on now. Throw a grenade at me, you motherfucker. Good job, stupid. Right, that's, that's smart. Bring a bat to a gunfight. That's brilliant. I'm gonna be honest, guys. I'm a firm believer in natural selection. If you're stupid enough to chase a guy with a baseball bat, yet he has a shotgun, yeah, you kind of deserve it. Ah, uh, I need meds real bad. So there's one butthole right around there. That's the he's the only thing between me and that med kit. Come on, inch it, inch it. Oh fuck! He's got two friends. He's got a friend. He's got a friend. Fuck! 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 fuck. Run. Oh, bullshit! It bounced back at me. That is bullshit. Alrighty, there we go. I managed to clear the roof so far. He's a sneaky little bastard is what he is. That's why he managed to escape. Set you on fire because you deserved it. Okay, there's a... Where the fuck are you? What the fuck? Okay. Bullshit. Oh, dick move. Alright, he's gone. Uh, what gun do I have? Ooh, I got a deagle. Oh. There we go, he's done. Alright, uh, how the fuck do I. Oh! Okay, here we go. I'm getting somewhere now. Man, Mendoza always gets me into Fuck, 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 fuck. Hey, I can throw shit too! I completely missed. I mean, it kind of worked. Fuck him. It worked. I'm good with that. Oh, God. oh, I fell off the fucking building. Oh. Okay. Alrighty, so we've managed to make it across the roof now. Oh my god, I turned my fucking back and there's like five guys there trying to shoot me. Oh. God fucking damn it. Well, that's why I saved the med kit right over here. I think there's a right there. It is. Oh my god. Oh, uh, hi, hi. Whoa. Jeez. Okay, there we go. Send his ass flying. Alright. Our aiming is weird, too. Like, there are times where I'll be aiming straight, but. Officer, whoever the fuck this guy is. He, uh, he aims wherever the hell he wants. This is a literal loose cannon cop. Loose cannon meaning his gun's all over the fucking place and gives absolutely no shits where he's aiming. Uh, speaking of... Oh, there you... Good job, stupid. Yeah, keep... There you go. That's natural selection right there for you kids. If you wanted a quick definition of natural selection, dipshit throwing Molotov, that is... natural selection at work. Did I just get an option to blow it up? Oh, bull pop. I thought it said blow it up. I was like, whoa, 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 what are we blowing up now? Hold on. 
Houston, we got a problem. What the <sighs> fuck are we blowing up? Yo, it's gonna blow up on me. I'm waiting for it. That, that shit's gonna explode. Yeah, there we go. Oh, guys, you hear it? That hurts. Fire hurts. Really? Really? Oh, hi. There we go. Really now? Fire hurts? What? Oh, you don't say. Oh, God. Cool, we can catch a ladder in midair even though... We've been climbing? Like, I can't... Oh, there we go. Okay. Alright, where is this cum guzzler? Hi! Shit, I could've got an easy headshot right there. Alright, that's... That was a police officer. Where are we? In fucking Chicago? Like, what... What is up with the crime rate? They're literally, most of the people in this state, town, whatever, like gangbangers. Catch! What? Did my guy just really say goddamn civilians? Like they're like they're a problem? Ah, oh, these civilians get in the way of my shots all the time. Damn these civilians for being so easy to take hostage. Oh, okay. Alright, uh, it appears. Hey, how you doing, buddy? He ducked into the subway. Stay in his chair. Why do these cops look like feds? I mean, these guys look more like Secret Service. Oh my god, why did you guys pop all this smoke? I can't see shit. Fuck, 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 fuck. Ah, god. There we go, we cleared everyone out. Now we're moving down the subway. I'm at the subway. I'm going after Sean. Alrighty, now we have to trap Sean in the subway. After chasing Calderon through the club and doing battle with countless D-Boys, he's eluded you by heading into the subway. Continue to pursue Sean, who is heading for the nearest train hoping to escape. I don't want to kill you! I just want to talk! Oh, there he is, there's the prick running. I love that, I hope somebody points this out, but nah, fuck it, I'm gonna point it out. I, you know, my character goes, hey, I don't want to shoot you, I just want to talk. And the first thing I do is I open fire on it. Why are you me? Why are you purple? You can't take a hostage. I kill the hostage. Can I take a hostage? That would be freaking hilarious that as a cop I could take a hostage. That would be so stupid. Like, that that would hurt me with this game even more because that's all I do. I'd be like, fuck it, we're taking hostages. What, Nick, you're a police officer. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. I'm a dirty cop. You know what kind of cop I am? I'm me. What does that mean? Absolutely nothing. Just me. Free a cop failed. Oh well. He shouldn't have gotten captured. Sucks to be him. Oh, you dickhead in your mall cops, really. He's on a train, headed up down to 53rd Street train. We got him now. It'll be a dead end for our friend Sean. Ow. Ow. Fuck. Wouldn't it be awesome if, while you're on fire, you could rush the guys and set them on fire? Are you down? He just said fucker shot me. I mean, dude, I'm not here to cuddle you. I hope you know that. I'm not here to give you the good snuggles. That, that ain't happening. I'm here to put you on your ass and make you feel stupid. Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck, come on, fuck. Uh, fire bed, fire bed, fire bed, yes! Let it go. Psst. 
buddy. I'm behind you. Or I was. Oh, now you did. All right, let's go. Am I supposed to leave the train? Am I supposed to do something? You okay, sir? You done shit in your pants? Is that Calderon? Uh, apparently, I can shoot through the train. Cool. Where the hell is my backup? That's just it. There is no backup. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Ah, it's fine. We didn't need the civilians anyway. One Charles 37. Lost contact with suspect. See guys, here's the thing. Am I supposed to shoot hostages? Absolutely not. But you know what? I'm actually doing the community service. By killing people, that opens up more jobs. I'm helping the economy. By killing off bits and pieces of it. But but in the long run, it's a little pain now that will make it stronger later. I'm a deranged psychopath. I know. Please, oh, yeah, it's just tear gas. God damn it. Did you just say my eyes are bleeding? That's a lot of fucking gas, holy shit. And how am I getting hit? Oh, that's why. Oh my god, fucking go down. Are these on? Ah, yeah, fuck. with the team. Alrighty, so I managed to kill everybody. I just said YOLO and I rushed everyone. Was it the smartest idea? Fuck no. But you know what? Doing the stupid shit sometimes actually works. I have no clue where I'm going. I'm taking a wild guess and assuming I go across this bridge and onto another train question mark. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Wall. Cover. Now. Oh, the train's leaving in a minute, they said? Okay. Shit. Oh my god. Catch! Your guess also seems to be, like, absolutely useless. Like, it doesn't seem to do anything, like, you hear the guys complain, like, Oh, my eyes, oh, my dick, oh, my balls, whatever. But then, you actually engage these guys, and it doesn't do anything. Like, they don't really behave any differently. Oh. 
Did I just get... Did they just put a gun to my head? Detective oh, we got him! Mendoza? Good shit! Are you alright? <laughs> you had me worry that one of those little busters killed you. These hustlers couldn't survive five minutes in Mexico. Man, fuck you, Maria. You definitely ain't getting your cut now. Oh, shit. Mendoza, what is he talking about? You're so fucking naive, Lester. Look at what you did now, Sean. These are your fingerprints on the weapon. I'd be making flight arrangements at the airport if I was you. A carajo con la police! Fuck me? Mother, fuck you. Your limp stick ain't long enough. You should be happy I'm letting you live. She's just letting him walk away in handcuffs. Okay. <laughs> Keep going, little boy. This story makes no sense. I don't understand what the fuck is going on. Is anybody else confused? That ugly bitch thought she could stop Grace Calderon. <laughs> don't she know the city is mine wherever I go? Oye, pendejo, me llamo señor Calderón. Y si tú estás en este club, cuando yo llegue, vas a salir en una fucking caja, ¿entiendes? Escúchame bien, pinche culero. ¿Quién carajo crees que tú eres? ¿Zaragoza? Este barrio es mío, sin No para siempre, mi hermano, no para siempre. Parece que va a ser flor y un funeral para ti también, mamá bicha. Okay, I am like dumbfounded and confused in like every fucking possible way. I don't know what the hell is going on with this story. Okay, so I suspected that Maria was dirty to some degree. Just through the fact that she went ahead, blew away two Colombians, and then drew a gun on us for no fucking reason. So, all right, right off the bat, she's dirty. You could have kind of guessed that. Uh, and then out of the blue, she decides to kill our detective. Only to, you know, be revealed as a dirty cop. It's like, but okay, why? I mean, she has that evil, maniacal laughter. I'm like, so, like, I'm sitting here thinking, I'm like, okay, so she's trying to go take over the city and become, like, super evil mayor or some shit? Like, oh, what? Great. What does this have to do with our character, right? What does this have to do with the main character who just got arrested? The one whose wife and kid is currently kidnapped. That's another thing too. Calderon was the one that had his wife and kid. So where are they now now that he's in Mexico? What the fuck? This story is all over the place. Either this is gonna all wrap up nicely at the end somehow, or this story is just all over the place. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's when we leave this one for today. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. As always, if you like it, leave a like. If you like it, dislike it. Comments, questions, concerns, or ideas, leave it in the comment section below. Or send them to me on Twitter. And if you feel so inclined, please do so as to subscribe or follow me on Twitter. I will see you guys around the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you and have a good night, guys.